This is the official look at KDE Plasma 6 bringing stunning updates and improvements. KDE Plasma 6 is built using the Qt6 framework and undergoes a migration to the modern Linux graphics platform Valent. Plasma 6 brings numerous under the hood upgrades that improve security, efficiency and performance along with enhanced support for modern hardware. So let's go ahead and explore the Plasma 6 and its new features. Now out of the box, Plasma 6 uses Valent as the default display server. Thanks to the significant changes and the stability of Valent, it offers a smoother, more secure and enhanced graphics experience. They also give you the option to switch to X11 using the STDM login manager and allow distribution developers to override the Valent and keep X11 as the default display server. Plasma 6 on Valent now supports partial HDR on supported monitors and software providing you with richer and deeper colors for your games, videos and visual creations. You can set an ICC profile for each screen individually and Plasma will adjust the colors accordingly. While applications are still limited to the sRGB color space, but KDE is working to increase the number of supported color spaces. Plasma 6 also introduces two new wallpapers representing their latest release. The light and dark version of this wallpaper looks exceptional on large screen monitors. With Plasma 6, KDE has combined the overview and desktop grid effects into one and significantly improve the touchpad gestures. So swiping up with four fingers takes you to the overview mode and swiping up again takes you to the desktop grid. The swiping left or right with three fingers switches between workspaces. Also, you can use keyboard shortcuts like Meta plus G for a grid view and Meta plus W for an overview mode. In KDE Plasma 6, the panel now floats by default instead of attaching to the edges of the screen. When any application is maximized to fill up the space, the panel retains the original style. By right-clicking on the panel, you can enter Editor Mode, which brings a new panel settings option. This gives you full control to customize the panel, including parameters to change its look, size, and position. Now, using the position setting, you can easily move the panel to the top, left, right, or bottom. With the help of the visibility feature, you can make the panel visible all the time and also use auto hide when needed. The new panel settings seem intuitive and provide more options or buttons to customize the panel. Plasma 6 introduces a refresh settings application that is easier to use. All the settings are elegantly organized into sections with relevant controls. For example, the input and output section has controls related to the mouse, keyboard, sound, and more. The connected devices section is related to output devices. While the appearance and style section allows you to change wallpapers, fonts, and apply themes. Additionally, the nightlight settings have been improved.
After being removed a few years ago, the famous cube effect is finally back in Plasma 6. This effect provides a clear visualization of the concept of multiple desktops. You can enable this cube effect from Window Management Settings to arrange the workspaces or virtual desktops in a vertical cube. Pressing Meta plus C triggers the cube view and previews all the workspaces. The thumbnail grid shows as the default app switcher in Plasma 6. By holding Alt and pressing the Tab key, you can navigate between the running applications effortlessly. The default app sourcing backend for Discover in Plasma 6 is either Flatpak or Snap, making the Linux app ecosystem feel more alive. If you notice, the home, install applications, and updates are now positioned at the bottom for easier access. Along with that, the Discover software application receives a bunch of updates, bug fixes, and improvements. For example, application search functionality is now much faster. Also, the application list and the description of an app are formatted neatly and show the app information, such as size and version, on the top. There's also an option to see the list of available app sources from the top right. And the other changes include Plasma 6 improves the performance of valent native applications by enabling them to use higher refresh rates. Plasma Mobile also gets major improvements. The default home screen allows users to organize their preferred applications in a grid and group them together. Overall, KDE Plasma 6 brings significant changes to enhance the out-of-the-box user experience. If you want to explore Plasma 6 right now, Install the KDE Neon User Edition to experience the best of Plasma 6 new features. And that's pretty much it. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching. This has been KSK Ryle. I will see you in the next one.